But here's what's going to happen. You swing, and as you swing back, you've got to step your right foot back. Okay. And then your left foot back and hit. Right foot, left foot. So you're constantly moving away from the ball. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So you start here. You make a swing. Right foot back, left foot back. 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 So you're constantly moving away. You're that was straight impressive. Line. Straight line. Say right hip back, yep. left hip back, right hip back. So you feel like you're moving in a straight line. Okay, I got it. Now, if we put it on the video, yeah. your freaking hips are going to turn both directions, but you feel like you're just walking straight backwards. See, when you walk, yeah. when I walk backwards, my pelvis rotates. Yep. But it's a straight line force. Yeah. See what my hips are doing? They're turning. Yep. But I'm more open in straight line forces. Yes, got it. That's how your body works. Yep. So all we're doing is tuning into right hip back, which is turning your pelvis. Yeah. And you're moving away from the ball. Okay, so you, you swing forward and then your right foot drops back, then your left foot drops back and you hit. hit. You're good. Okay. And then you just keep going. Okay. Just hit them easy. You want to stand there? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm good. Okay. Like nice that. and easy. You only hit it maybe 100 yards at the most. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Good job. Now, if you watch that on video, yeah. you don't move up into any of those shots. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because the task is to keep moving away to hit the next one. Yeah. So a lot of people say, I don't really extend. It's just the wrong picture. Yeah. If you can do this drill, you're not going to really extend. Can I do that one more time? You feel like you're just going straight back. You don't feel like you're turning your hips at all. at all. When you see it on the video and you watch your hips, they're turning a bunch. Yeah. But you don't feel turned. Yeah. You feel your joints moving straight back. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I hit the shaft a couple times. That's okay. Yeah, no, I like you to You hit every again. one of them. You didn't miss any of the balls. Yeah, I think, you know, and, and a lot of these pieces too, which I'm catching the drift now, I believe, the straight line and moving the joints and having the rotation of the other pieces are happening as a reaction to those. I'm yeah. not thinking turn and get and get and I got it. Yeah. Thank you. See, we got trying to force our bodies to do things they already know how to do. Yeah. So, like I say, it's rotation is an effect. Yeah. And it, when you're walking backwards, your hips are rotating. Yeah. But when, when I'm walking backwards like this and my hips are rotating, you're not going, you're not, I'm not trying to turn my hip and turn my hip and turn right. my hip. And if you said to walk backwards, Mike, you turn your hip, I'd go, you know, I just, and when I step back, this hip goes back. And when I step back, this hip goes back. Yeah. Okay. So all of a sudden now there's no pressure in my back Yeah. because it's, I'm pushing my joints back. And that's what's making me rotate. There's so like when we're watching a video and there see, it looks like there's a flaw in there, we're band-aiding a lot of those micro pieces and not in fact changing the, the root of the movement. Yeah, you don't even know what the root of the movement is. Yeah. That, what you just said there is typical of what I see in the industry. Yeah. They don't know the cause of the movement. They see the positions. Yeah. This is off. This does this. I go, yeah, it does that. How does it do it? Well, you do this. No, you don't do it the way it looks. Yeah. See, you're turning your hips now, and you don't even feel like you're turning them. Right. Okay, so why are they turning? Yeah. It'd be a lot easier if they turn. You didn't have to think about it. Definitely. Okay. Let me do one more here just to feel this. Back. So, so when I'm going here, Mike, it's going right foot back as this swings. Yep, and then the left foot yep. goes back as you go through. So what's it doing? Pushing your right hip out of the way, left hip out of the way. So all you're doing is you're using motion to start to feel how to move your hips out of the way. Yeah, gotcha. Right hip, left hip. Right hip, left hip. Right hip, left hip. Right hip, left hip. Good job. Thank you. Now, if we watch, like I say, if we take a, take the video and yeah. you slow that down and you watch your second, those ones, the ones you hit well, yep. and you watch your transition, not knowing you were doing the drill, you moved, you didn't move up into it at all. Yeah, exactly. But you didn't feel like you were turning your hips. All you felt like is you were moving straight back. Yeah. That's what I feel like when I swing. It just constantly feels like I'm moving further and further away from the ball. Boom. Boom. And so if I boom. if I do those those motions correct, I don't have to manufacture 
hip turn. Got it, yeah. And all of the sequencing and the kinematics, all that stuff yeah. that's correct, but the fact that we know what the sequence is and we try to create the sequence with what the science says it is, you can't do it. Got it. Science is the study of what's happening. It's not necessarily the way to do it. So all this information, I had all this back in the 80s. I was involved with a company called Sentinel and we, we got to see all the biomechanics of what's going on. And I really got into muscle firing patterns and I taught it. Worst three or four years I ever had teaching and playing. Yeah. Even though I knew what was going on because that's the science of what's happening. It's not necessarily the way to do it. Yeah. So there's a big disconnect between science and art. Golf swing is an art form. This is an artistic expression of you through a game. It's not a damn science. Yeah. You turn it into a science and you're a robot. Well, that's happened to a lot of us. It happened to me. What you just did there was athleticism. Yeah. And everything, if you, when you watch that and you watch how your body moves on about the set and you watch how you move it, you go, that's what I want. Well, you're not even thinking about move your hip. You're just trying to hit the ball. Got it. I just gave you a drill that forced you to do what your body has to do to hit. And for those who, let's say, have um, hip depth issues or they have early extension pieces, doing things like this, right? No, yeah. it, and then just maybe an exaggeration of... Just push back, push back, yeah. push back. I have them get close to a wall and get about two inches from the wall and then just push their right hip back then push their left hip back. So you go push right hip first, then push their left hip, then keep their left hip there. Just yeah. push, push. And some of it's flexibility. But a lot of it is just understanding the task. Got it. Now the flexibility comes into play. If you can bend like this, yep. you don't have to go to into early extension. But if yep. you do this, here's where flexibility becomes a big role. If you're tight in your hamstrings and hip flexors, and you try to do this, and you try to twist your hips at the same time, now you're dead. Yeah. Because you've got to have a lot of flexibility to deepen your hips and rotate your pelvis. Got it. So somebody who's tight in their hips, if they're trying to clear their, turn their hips, they can't push away because they're so tight, it pulls them right up out of it. Gotcha. So somebody who's really tight, they can get their hips back, but it impacts their shoulders and their hips, there's not gonna be much separation. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. This whole deal where the more you separate, the further you're gonna hit it, no. Right depends on the flexibility of the segments in each individual person. You're moving force from the ground through that system. So however much rotational force or force you have to go from one to get the other to work is you. To come up with this, here's this magical combination, and if you get these numbers, you're gonna be really good, it's freaking crazy. Right. First of all, numbers are averages. That means nobody does it. Yeah, yeah. So average means nobody does it. <laughs> are there people over here and over here that are on tour? Well, yeah. Well, why are we trying to teach this guy an average that nobody does? Yeah. It's just not gonna make any sense. I mean, I, I get pretty wound up because I, I see why well intended that the biomechanics and the science and everything is, it starts to ruin the natural motion of individual people and their athleticism. And it comes up with an ideal. And then the, then the Kool-Aid is the closer you get to the ideal, the better player you're going to be. Mm. That ruined me. I got right on the ideal and couldn't play. Mm. In fact, I blew my back out and my neck doing it. So I get it. Yeah. The ideal made me worse. Yeah. Well, now I know what ideal is for me. And that's all we're doing. That's what you just did. Yeah, yeah. And as an athlete, you picked up the motion and you had to walk away from it and your hips are turning and you're not even thinking about it. Yeah. That's where golf should live rather than standing there all static trying to make everything right. do this. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Done all deal. Right. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. That's killer. Killer, killer, killer. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.